right. So we have a girl sledding on a hill. Girl on a sled coasts down a hill. Her speed is seven meters per second when she reaches level ground at the bottom. The coefficient of kinetic friction between her sledge runners and the hard icy snow is 0 .0, 0 0.050, and the girl and the sled together weigh 645 newtons. How far does the sled travel on the level ground before coming to a rest? Well, I can tell you now, if she had any Clark W. Griswold uh, non-nutritional cereal varnish or any of the polymer spray on the, yeah, Never mind. Those of you that know, you know. Those the rest of you just try to keep up. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we want to know how far, how far distance will she travel all the way out here before she comes to a stop? Question mark. How far until she stops? Okay, so the uh, coefficient of kinetic friction between the sled and the ground is. 0 0.050 her velocity at the point she enters into the flat section is seven meters per second and her weight total between her and the sled and everything is 645 newtons that's equal to mg so we can take i already know we're going to need that mass to get the acceleration separated so 645 divided by g 645 newtons divided by 9.8 meters per second squared will give me mass and so the mass of the kid and the sled is roughly 65 but we'll do that 645 divided by 9.8 and that's equal to 65.8 so the mass of the sled and the girl is 65.8 kilograms so we're going to need that at some point okay all right so what do we have here we have mu which gives us an indication of once she gets to the flat section that means mg burp, 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 mg for the sled and the girl mg is going to be equal to the normal force in the opposite direction. So the normal force is going to be uh, 645. So mu is equal to friction force over normal force. So then normal times mu, F normal, times mu will give us the friction force well we know normal is 645 and we know mu is 0.050 so 645 times 0 0.05 is 645 times 0.05 32.25 so the friction force equals 32.25 Newtons. Now, what this means is you got to look at this from a perspective of what other forces are acting on the sledder. Well, once she hits this level here, mg and normal force are equal and opposite, so that's zero. But then the only force acting on here in the horizontal is the friction. So 32.25 is the force of friction, and it's pointing left, so it has a negative acceleration. So if we take 32.25 divided by 65.8, 32.25, which is the force, net force, divided by the mass, which is 65.8 kilograms, that'll give me the acceleration. Now remember the acceleration has to be negative because she's slowing down. Negative because the force is pointing to the left and we know she's slowing down. So we got two things that we know for sure that that acceleration is negative. So 32.25 divided by 65.8 will be a negative acceleration of 0.49 meters per second squared. So the acceleration is, acceleration is negative 
0 0.49 meters per second squared. All right, so now the distance is the question mark. The acceleration we know. V initial we know. V initial. And the time, no. But we do know V final because she's going to a stop. So V final is 0. And it doesn't ask us uh, anything about the time. It doesn't give us any indication of the time. So now what we want to use is the what I call the I ain't got time for that formula when we have a formula V final squared minus V initial squared equals 2A D. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 2A and we're going to get this number over here to A. So we have A. We have V final is 0. We have V initial, which is 7. So now V final is 0, so that goes away. So negative 7 meters per second. Negative that number squared. Okay, so that's a negative 49 over 2 times, remember our acceleration is negative 0.49, negative 0 0.49. Well, 2 times that is negative 0.98 and negative 49. So 49 over 0.98 is equal to just about 50, I guess. 49 divided by... 0.98 is 50. It's exactly 50. That's what I was thinking. It's got to be close to that. 50 meters. So the distance is 50 meters. Kind of a cool little weird rhombus shape there. So that's that. Hope you liked it. And